some time ago in a dinner, Samuel Aranda, good friend and a brilliant photographer, told me that at a certain point you have to unlearn, you have to let go to be less precise. Suggest instead of show. Istanbul is a vibrant, interesting, dynamic city full of kind people. It's a dream for photographers, for street photographers. But one of the things that happens when you go to a place like that is that you center your attention in making fancy pictures, uh, complex compositions, and we tend to forget the emotional resonance of the place. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to capture the feelings of a place when your subject is not a person, but a great city. Sometimes a slightly underexposed picture or a little bit of motion says more than a perfectly sharp and clear photograph. In my opinion, one of the best ways can be make the light your subject. Try to think for a moment how it feels to be there, how it's feeling for you as an author of the photographs. Another way is to make the most of the spaces, how people use it, how some squares are busy or empty. Try to uh, identify the dynamics and capture them, flow with it. Another thing that we tend to do as a photographers, and for a good reason, is to look for the perfect light. And when there is bad weather, raining, snowing, we tend to stay at home or in the hotel or wherever. But the weather is a great part of how it feels to be in a place. It's going to give to your viewer that feeling, the sensation, the cold, the wind. Also, working with the weather, I think that allows you to show something very interesting, which is how people react to it. And that is going to give to your body of work a very interesting dynamic, not only because of what's happening, also because of the color palette, for example. You can play a little bit with the white balance, for example, in your camera. And start to give a certain tone to your pictures, maybe colder, maybe warmer. All of that is going to add depth and interest to your body of work, is going to have more personality. I'm not saying to not to use your knowledge or your techniques. I'm saying to forget about it just a bit and let go your inner self, the emotional part of the photographer that you are and see what happens. Maybe you are going to discover an interesting approach to specific places or your overall work is going to be more personal and especially more personal for the people that it's your audience. 